We are in Dearborn, Michigan, just a few miles west of Detroit, and this breathtaking estate is where automotive pioneer Henry Ford and his wife Clara lived for over 30 years. Right now, there is a massive effort to restore and preserve the estate, and today, we're going to have a look at the work going on inside. Hey, Mark, nice to meet you. Kevin, welcome to Fairlane. Boy, you've got yourself a gem uh, let here. Let me tell you, every day is a busy one here. So what is the story of the house? Oh, absolutely. So this was the 15th and final house of Henry and Claire 15th. Ford, if you can imagine that. After the success of the Model T, I think they're looking for a little bit of retreat and get away from the public eye. They did it in grander, though. And built when? Well, so they moved in about 1960, in the beginning of 1960. And the architect, William Van Tyne, was out of Philadelphia. And I'll tell you, you'll be challenged to find anything about this gentleman. We really? know very little bit about him. But it was designed in the prairie style. Also kind of eclectic with a little bit of uh, Scottish baronial, if you will. Okay. And how big are we talking? Because from oh, outside, it looks huge. Absolutely. It's over 31,000 square feet wow. of the main house with 56 rooms. And then also included a powerhouse, garden shed, and greenhouse. That's incredible. Absolutely. So now you guys are in the restoration. You're we overseeing are. that work. How is it that you end up coming into possession of the house? Well, the home, like a lot of historic homes had an evolution of owners after the 1950 when Clara died it kind of went through Ford Motor Company and then went to the University of Michigan right and started a campus out here and it was used for a lot of things such as weddings events rentals things such as that okay. and then we came in in 2013 it took ownership and here we are starting a new era sounds like a lot of wear and tear for you guys to clean up and how do you start with a restoration on this uh, I'll project? tell you what it really begins with great scholarly research then we take that research and look at spaces such as the Sun Porch here which is our real prototype room, if you will. It's a pilot. For this, we're using that research to work with over 18 artisans across, across the world here, and it's particularly here in Michigan. But everything from plaster work, we had failing plaster, cleaning of Ohio uh, limestone, to actually putting faux graining back up that was all painted over at one time. It's just unbelievable the talent that we have around here. Yeah. We have been using sources such as this, historic photographs from the time period, 1919, which we're going back to, but using that black and white and then colorizing it so we can envision where we want to take it. Wow, oh, that's great to have all that detail recorded. Oh, we're so fortunate to have these kind of documentation. We also, so fortunate, we have our own team of conservators that are working down right now, down in the basement, on historic fixtures that were in the sun port. You want to care, want to see what it looked I'd like? I'd love to see that. Well, let's go downstairs. So then here we actually took an all-season historic room, this porch here, and turned it into a conservation room where these talented individuals are working on exterior lights, alabaster repairs on this wonderful piece here, historic hardware, and then of course, the original chandeliers from the sun porch. These two are upstairs. These are the two that were hanging upstairs. Tamsin's been working on these with hundreds of hours on these. Mm. And here you can actually see where we have the original over 100 years of dirt and grime that just from pollution and everything else has settled here. And then the elements that we've already started conserving. So this is all cleaned up here, mostly cleaned up, and I see the color compared to this. Are you adding the color back? Oh, uh, we are not. What we are doing is just taking back all that dirt, trying to get back to what was there originally, kind of leaving that patina. We want that look to be that lived-in look that the Ford's experienced. Well, it's a beauty. It is indeed. Well, let me show you a few other things. So let me take you into Henry and Claire's dining room. Oh, this is a magnificent room. It's a beautiful room. space. What we're doing now is we're focusing actually on the wooden floors here. As you can see, we have the original floor that has years and years of old finishes, waxes, buildup. And we're taking all that off through a passive process to get down to the bare wood floor. What do you mean by passive process? Well, we use chemicals and slow application removal, removers to try to get it back to the natural wood. And the key is no sanding. You have not sanded this floor? Not at all. And the reason we do that, we don't want to lose the integrity of these wood floors. That is remarkable. And the next up is what Michael and David's doing down here, which is the application of a hardening oil. And they use this machine to slowly, little by little, reintroduce what originally the oil look and feel would have been here in the floors. I mean, that is absolutely beautiful. It brings out the, the grain, grain and the wood, the herringbone pattern. And it's a hardening oil, so hardening oil. this is going to just set up over time? Yeah, and what we'll decide, we may put another finish on this, depending upon how we use this space, but most likely this will be the final pro process right here. Absolutely. Well, if you like this, let me take you into the living room and show you one other thing. So back in the living room, 
We're removing layers and layers of paint off the original walnut and inlay. So this was all wood paneling at one point? This was all wood paneling. Beautiful wood, stenciling, all painted over. And who would do that and why? <laughs> Believe it or not, Clara did it. Yeah. Around 1940-41, our research shows us. We think it was because she just wanted to lighten up the interiors. And quite frankly, we see that across the nation, a lot of people, homeowners, were doing that. So you guys are trying to expose the old woodwork? So that's what we're doing. So you can see Tony here, we're removing all the finishes Look at that, it's just peeling right off. Isn't that beautiful? Although it is such a small area. I mean, at this pace, how long to do the entire room? Yeah, we project it's gonna take us about three months to do the entire room space. What a painstaking process. Well, it really is, but at the end, we know it's well worth it. So you can see here, this full mock-up we did earlier, from floor to ceiling, it really shows what a Henry and Clara really first imagine what they experience, what they design, and that's what we're going for. Oh, that is beautiful. And it would have looked like that throughout this entire room. The whole space here. Wow. All right. Well, we really appreciate the tour and, more importantly, everything you guys are doing to save this important house. You're welcome. All right. And that is just remarkable. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.